Welcome back to Fox 43 AM Live. Join us now are Israel Sanchez and Lonnie Walker Jr. talking with us about the Kansas Inclusion Summit happening on Tuesday, September 17th over at Prairie Bank Casino and Resort. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Excited to hear a little bit about what's going on here. So for our viewers, let's start out. Uh, what is the Kansas Inclusion Summit? What's this all about? Well, the summit has been around for four years now, and Lonnie with Blue Cross is one of our, uh, not only a sponsor, but also one of the sponsors, he's also the chair of the committee that mm -hmm. puts it together. And essentially, it's a summit where we want uh, people from all walks of life, right, to learn about, yes. um, well, people from all walks of life, right? mm -hmm. <laughs> essentially, people who are different from yourself, what makes us unique, what makes us different. And it's, we have speakers coming in, keynote speakers, and Lonnie will talk about that. And we have breakout sessions as well, where people can come in and learn about people with different abilities, or different genders, or different just different ages, right? How do we relate to each other? What makes us unique and what, what makes us kind of the same in some ways? We're all human, right? We all have the same uh, desires to be loved, respected. I think that's important. Okay, and that's really that's really nice. And so, yeah, for people attending, though, what would you want them to kind of take out of the take out of this inc this event and to, I guess, bring out to the rest of the community? Sure, no, I appreciate that. Uh, we love that we for this year. Our theme is finding common ground in a seemingly divided world. Mm -hmm. And so, I think that's the biggest thing that we want our attendees to take away from this event is that we have more in common mm -hmm. than we do not. Mm -hmm. And so finding that common ground, coming together, understanding one another in different ways, because like Israel said, we have uh, breakout sessions specifically for different dimensions of diversity outside of typically what people think, race, ethnicity, and gender. We're talking about socioeconomic status, mm -hmm. generations, so different ages, and we're also talking about different abilities. So individuals with disabilities, whether they're hidden or they're, or they're visible, uh, and just different walks of life and helping people understand one another better. Fascinating. I really love that. I, I've heard, you know, uh, over the generations how we've, you know, learned about other people. Sometimes we're like, oh, we're all the same. But I heard also at one point to tell people that we're all different and internally we start to look at how we're the same at that point. So right. it's, uh, I just feel like it's a little mix of that. We're, we're, we're learning from these other stories of these other people and kind of realizing, oh, okay, we are, we are, we have a lot in common, surprisingly. Yeah. Absolutely. Like Lonnie said, you know, like, especially in an election year, we're also polarized and then we have our own, like, echo chambers, so it's good to be, go out there and be exposed to different ideas and different people, right? You look different than yourself, but again, we have a lot more in common than we mm -hmm. think. That's great. And let's talk about some of the keynote speakers now. What, uh, Erica Ellis and Tamara Gondor, right? Yeah, so we've got Eric Ellis. He's coming from Cincinnati. Mm -hmm. And we've got Tamara Gondor. She's coming from Colorado. These are powerhouses in the inclusion space and really helping people understand because sometimes um, people have an idea of what inclusion is and what it isn't, and mm -hmm. so to get professionals in the room to really help people understand what it is, that's gonna be helpful as we partner together as a community just to be better. Mm -hmm. No, that's great. Yeah, I know a lot of us, I think we have the idea of what we want to do to, to be more inclusive, but then to have actually someone a more more professional be able to really spell it out for us and show us right. some examples and how to move forward, it's going to be great to hear some of these keynote speakers. Yeah, yes. And so for those uh, people out there that are interested, haven't gotten like tickets yet, what do, what do they need to know about like signing up? Well, I'll, first I want to say, if you're thinking about it, if you're home thinking, should I go? Yes, you should go. This is for you. It is for everybody. It's for everybody. You should be there. But you can go to TopekaPartnership.com, go to events, and you find the tickets there. So okay. TopekaPartnership.com, events. You'll find Wonderful. the tickets Okay, there. get tickets there. And yeah. is there uh, any deadline to get tickets or kind of up to the day? Can you get be a participant? I would say get as soon as possible because you'll fill up. But probably even to the day before, you'll probably be able to get some yeah. tickets. But day of, I doubt you'll get some. So okay. be, be quick about it. Yeah. Yeah. Wonderful. Well, quick, wonderful. Again, and you said this is the fourth year, right? Yes, sir. Yeah, how's, how's like the past three years been for you guys? You see the, the event growing every year? It actually yeah. has grown every year. I've been a part of the event mm -hmm. since its inception. And it started off in uh, 2021. So it was all virtual mm -hmm. at that point, <laughs> right? Yes. And so then in 2022, we moved to the first live event at Prairie Band Casino and Resort, and we've been there ever since. And that's a nice connection as well because we get to have um, the Potawatomi tribe open up with a nice cultural dance and, and help us bring in the morning with a great inclusive uh, initiative. So we're excited to be there yet again. That's great. I, I love what's going on here, and I'm, I'm excited to hear uh, what happens at this year's event and the years to come as we kind of bring the community closer together every year. Yes, sir. Thank you. Well, thank you guys so much for joining us this morning. And everyone, uh, please, for more information, you can visit TopekaPartnership.com, right? Yep. Wonderful. Go to events, yep. <laughs> TopekaPartnership.com slash events.